OK, so my name is uh, Alan Brax, and we are in my studio. Um, so there is some equipment uh, uh, everywhere. Um, so this is all the piece of gear I'm using to make music. But I think uh, for today, it would be interesting to just focus on this machine. Um, I started to make music with this um, something like 11 years ago. And um, I think it's really a fantastic machine. Really easy to use. Uh, the cool, so the cool, um, the cool thing with this machine is uh, you, there is not that many things, not that many things you can do with. It's just a sampler. There is ten seconds of some sampling time, which is just nothing, in fact. Um, and there is a sequencer in it. So basically, most of the time, it's it was used for uh, hip hop productions for drums. But uh, you can also uh, sample uh, loops in it, uh, funky loops or whatever you want. So the cool thing with this machine is, uh, as, as there is a time uh, sampling time limitation, so it's just 10 seconds available, um, uh, what I'm going to show you is how Stardust and uh, Intro, for example, which is one of the tracks I've done. OK, so this is a sample. This is, uh, the first part of the sample. I sampled it at from a 12 inch, which was played uh, at 45 RPM instead of 33, then with plus 8 uh, on the pitch. Then the record is playing really fast. So something which is being which is supposed to be uh, played four seconds is just being played two seconds. So I've sampled this at this speed. Okay, so I have instead of uh, using uh, four seconds in my machine, I'm using just two seconds. Then I pitch it down to this speed. And the cool thing with this machine is when you pitch down or when you pitch up, then it crunch a lot. In fact, the sample is really uh, in a bad quality. So. Um, here it is. You take your first part, your second part, uh, and your first part. Then you tap it in the sequencer. There is an auto repeat function. Uh, And there is also a mixer in it. So you can play it like this. Yeah, you can play it like an, like an instrument. And then you build your, your patterns like this. I'm going to change the patterns and go on the... Patterns. Okay. So this tap repeat function is really cool because you can change the settings to 1 uh, slash 4, 1 slash 8, or uh, 16. So uh, uh, here is coming this sound. So if you want to try it. And you can also uh, so oh, is, that, is that the way you build the arrangement? Yeah, you build everything like this. It's just uh, it just goes really fast, in fact. And um, for example, this so this it was the introduction of the of the song, in fact. So where was this? There was a beat made in this machine as well. It's a sample. Uh, yeah, the beat. Everything was done in the machine except the bass line, which, which was uh, played live and recorded in the ASR10. I don't have the sample anymore, but... Um, uh, this... Um, this is sample from a 12 inch, okay? So you can play it this speed. I sampled it at this speed and then and the interesting thing is all the dirt you have in the sound, in fact. This is really cool. 
and so basically you can do very simple function just pitch uh, volume uh, sequencing sampling but it's so e easy to use um, and then you can build a song uh, chaining the patterns and uh, but it's it's really cool to just to work with one sampling machine one mixer speakers and that's all end of and story the 3630 yeah because with and without it's not the same stuff uh, so for example uh, let's go to uh, this one so this is uh, this is without this is with not this is with it really a lot and out and if you play this with There is a major uh, difference. Okay, so oops, this is how I started. In fact, with this, this, and a Mackie mixer, an older uh, model. But uh, um, and I think it's I will always keep this with me. I will never sell it or give it to anybody because it's it's. Uh, when you are fed up to deal with too much instrument, with too much plugins or whatever, or too much settings in your computer, you just plug this and have fun for half an hour, and it's really cool. What was the last track you used it on? Uh, it's a remix I did uh, for a band uh, I'm releasing on my label, uh, so I used it two, two months ago, in fact. 